Welcome back to the Crown 4 Morning News. Watching Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black. The Dow down again, down 38. Uh, yesterday we broke uh, the Blackjack Tuesday record, as Rob likes to call it. Right? We had 20 consecutive Tuesdays uh, with uh, gains for the Dow, but that broke yesterday, and uh, we're down again today. Morning. Morning. <laughs> so uh, we had the ADP numbers come out, the private payroll numbers. Yep. And uh, has that have any bearing on what we're expecting for Friday with the monthly jobless report? Sometimes. Okay. But not always. ADP is a private payroll kind of predictor, so to speak. They're compiling numbers. Uh, a lot of paychecks go through them. Um, a lot of HR goes through uh, ADP. So they're, they're a point. And it wasn't as strong as we would have wanted it. But with that said, we're still waiting for the economic data on Friday. Uh, again, unemployment, we're not going to pay too much attention to. We're going to pay attention to hours worked. Because if hours worked jacks up, people are paying their bills. If hours worked jack up, then uh, companies are likely to hire people in the future. You know, I saw CNBC. They started their countdown to the jobless report on Monday. Wow. So do you feel like everyone's kind of holding their breath waiting to see what's going to happen on Friday this week or not? A little bit. Um, Wall Street insiders, yes. Uh, it is summertime. I refer to CNBC as financial porn. It's <laughs> just not that relevant. Um, they have way too much going on. Bloomberg, much better financial news if you're looking to compare the two. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's summertime. It's going to be a slowdown. Uh, what we saw this week was the 10-year Treasury note jack up to 2.15%, a level it hasn't seen in about a year. That's telling us that we're not as afraid as we used to be. We're starting to see some good things. So um, I think that's uh, what is to be expected. And uh, we saw a big jump in mortgage rates over the last month. Do you feel that that puts all businesses kind of on hold to wait and see how that's going to affect the overall economy? From what I've heard, okay. and this is just what I've heard, Movement in interest rates actually causes people to take action, whether it be on mortgages or on businesses. Uh, we do know that real estate has an artificial feel to it as investors, companies like Blackstone, are buying millions of properties inside the United States. Um, so yeah, you know, interest rates are, are vital, and there's going to be a shift from ultra cheap money to cheap money. It's not ultra cheap money to expensive money, so don't expect too much drama. Um, I like where we're at. Okay, thank you, Rob. Uh, we'll check back with Rob at 9.15 for today's winners and losers on Wall Street. Daria James.